Hello. Uh, I've never actually done a live um, YouTube video. So this is my first video in about a year and a half or two. Uh, going on to. Um, got COVID this week, so I've been hanging out at the house. Um, and I was sitting here realizing how long it had been since I tied a fly. And it has been since I posted last time that I actually tied a fly too. So, um, yeah, it was time. So I was sitting here thinking about what to tie, and I looked down and saw this mask. I'll turn this around so I can show you what's going on. Let me get all set up here real quick. My angles are a little different than I need them to be. Zoom in some. Let's see if this thing will focus better this time. I had a lot of trouble earlier with it. Let's see, it goes out of focus real bad. New phone. Square back up a little bit. Yeah. Well, we'll make it work. So, we've got a mask here. K9, it's a KN95. And, sorry. Yeah, there we go. And I like to make flies out of things that I've got already, or that I found. Uh, so sometimes I use things that have elastic on them. So I found, you know, these have elastic ear straps that we all know and hate very well. Um, but it's very stretchy and very seems to be pretty tough. So, and this is assuming that you need a a fly to catch a fish and you don't have materials with you or you don't have a fly with you or whatever, um, you know, kind of, I won't say survival, but maybe survival. Um, and right now I've been, con I've been concerned and I'm not usually one that's concerned about things like this, but I see masks everywhere and I'm, and I've actually looked it up because I never hear anybody, you know, all the people that are worried about the world, um, aren't worried about how many masks are out there now. But anyway, um, that being said, I have a mask sitting here and I thought I'd try to make a fly out of it so that I could catch a fish and survive sometime. Uh, so this is going to assume that you have some way of getting some string uh, thread. You could pull a sh your shirt apart, unravel some of the stitching to get some thread to use to tie something onto a hook. Um, and then this is either using your own mask or someone, some other mask that you find or whatever. And this is also assuming that you've carried some kind of a hook with you or can make a hook. Uh, so I've chosen this mosquito hook. Its owner is the brand. But this size is pretty cool. It's a real fine hook. Um, according to this, it's a mosquito hook, but it's good for minnows, crawlers, leeches, so on. It's a number 10 um, black chrome. So it can't, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's pretty dark. Pretty dark hook. Um, anyway, so there's that. That's the hook I'm going to use. And while I'm talking to you, I'll dig one out because uh, I forgot to do that. So um, I have. I'll spill these. There's only three left, but I don't want them in the carpet. Whoa, almost lost one. Okay, there we go. Let me get this in the vise before I drop it. I just tied this video on Google or on Facebook, but it didn't take. It was too blurry the whole time. There we go. See, it doesn't stay. Um, so let me show you what I did with the mask first. So I took the mask and I started by cutting the elastic off. And then I started taking the, I took the elastic here and I took my scissors, took the point and I just held it in my hand and started digging at it, picking at it and picking at it and picking at it. And at first I was getting off this fluff like that. I was getting off these little pieces, little pieces of fluff. And then eventually, and so I got a few pieces of that and I thought that'll be good dubbing. 
and then I started messing with it some more and it started to come apart see and then I got this and that's good stuff it's stretchy it's pretty tough it's fluffy so you can make something that's bulky and that'll grab air and um, make it look like it's more alive then I started looking at other parts of the mask now for one thing I didn't do this but this material right here could pass as fish scales so if you could figure out a way to you know tie on a piece of that onto your hook maybe there's that then there's this on the inside this stuff is kind of like cotton almost it's not but it looks like it um, and it see it's kind of see-through so you could take that and pick some of it and tie it on in such a way that it would be like a it could be like a, an egg sack around an egg but then I cut the mess that part of it open and dug into the inside when you dig into the inside there is this cottony I mean it's still stretchy and fibery but it's also cottony and so you can just pull this stuff out and stretch it out and rip it out and then what you get is this webby fluffy stuff and this stuff for fly tying is pretty cool so using that and this other piece that I found and just some thread in the hook I'm gonna go ahead and tie this fly and show you what I can do now um, if you have it wax is a good thing to have here if you have um, some unflavored um, chapstick if you have earwax <laughs> lots of earwax which if you're out hiking for a few days you probably will um, that helps the thread to stay on the hook so I'm gonna start here so I'm just holding this against the head and wrapping it and this is blurry dang it okay I'm gonna switch my hand Let's see if it's better and all I'm doing is wrapping the thread on itself and working its way down. I'm gonna cut it off midway, cut off the tag end, and then I'm really not happy with this foam. And then I'm just gonna keep tying towards the back. Right there. something back here in front of it something big and bulky I don't know if you have any ideas and you can tell me what it's doing besides being just too close I mean I know that's a thing but I put this big old feather over here maybe that's something for it to hang on to that'll just get in the way That helps. Okay, now, next step. I'm going to take my dubbing that I just pulled off. This is dub this we call dubbing material. If you buy it at a store, it looks like... This. You pick it up. It's basically the same stuff. If you are wearing socks, you can pick... Just keep picking and keep picking, and eventually you'll get some stuff that rolls. There's a little bit of it. But you'll get enough of that, it'll roll up on the thing that you're working with. And then, if you have two-tone socks, I 
uh, you can get some red on there and have some color changes. But I'm just going to use this one real quick. I'm not going to take too much longer because my phone's about to die. Uh, so when you dub, you just get this stuff and you fan it out like that, web it out. You get your wax on your string. Makes it sticky. You lay it behind the string and you just roll your thumb and your finger. And you want to try to taper it up. Make it bigger as it goes. Now, my last video that I was trying to tie this with did much better, of course, but it just looked terrible. But this will be okay. It'll still work. So once you do that, you can slide it up where you want it to start. Eventually it'll grab on. And then you're just going to go around and hopefully not lose your dubbing. Get it right here on the end. Eventually it'll touch where it's supposed to touch. And then every now and then you just want to stop and re-roll it. As long as it's around the line, it doesn't have to be completely covering it, but that line's going to tie it onto the hook in various places, so it's going to do its thing. You just want to keep twisting it around. You don't want to see that line by itself anywhere, that, that thread. Just keep going on here and build it up. And go back onto it a little bit and get some body to it. If it's wrong, you just back up. And then go back over it again. See, I'm having trouble with it now. I'll fan it back out. So if you don't web it out good enough, it doesn't get all the way around the thing. So let's see if that's better. Some more. You can put a little wax on your finger, wax on your thread, do your dubbing. It's not beautiful dubbing, but it'll do the trick for what I'm trying to do. I mean, after all, I am making a fly out of a COVID mask. I'm just gonna keep going up. Sometimes you want to go backwards a little bit. And then, so they just told me where I'm taking that off. All right, now I've got a little bit of room on the head. I'm even gonna put a, a half hitch here in case things come apart. It won't come completely apart. And then I'm going to grab that piece of thread that I pulled off of that mask. And I've got a little piece here already. So I'm going to tie this on. Now this stuff does have a different mind of its own because uh, it's not tying material. It's not made to do this. But that's the whole point, is finding things that you find and using them to make what you need. That's too much thread. Back that off some. Okay, so I've come up from here to here. That's going to give me some room to wrap this. I'm just going to do the same thing. Basically, this is what I just worked with. This is some some elastic -y thread, and it's got some fluffy stuff on it, so it's like dubbing. I'm just going to go several times around and let that fluffiness build up. Snip off the extra. Now 
I'm having some trouble because that head is not very big, but I should be okay here. Just finishing it off. The beautiful part about this one is that the thread is the same color as the head that you just made. So you can go back if you need to, shape it up. But that's a little bit extra that I don't need. I'll just leave it where I tied it off. Put some cement on it. There's a fly. Now, that one didn't go quite as well as the first one. The first one looked a little better. But that is definitely something that a perch will dive after. It's got some good color. Boy, this phone just does not like this very much. I'm not happy with this Apple phone. Well, there you go. I made a fly out of a COVID mask. And I can take this and use my scissor points to pick at this a little bit. If it'll even work on this one. Yeah, there we go. I'm getting some, I'm getting some stuff pulled off the bottom of there. Make it fluffy. A little more shrimp-like. Yeah, if I had all my stuff together where it used to be, uh, that would have been a better image of that. But anyway, there it is. There's a little something. Uh, take it for what it is. All right, have a good one.